Good day to all. My name is Mark, and I am here with uh, a transfers video today. Last time of the stats. Yeah, today we'll be analyzing my transfers. So then, transfers. What do you think of transfers? Well, transfers, in my opinion, are they're needed, but it'd be nice if they weren't needed. Um, in, like just in particular, in my opinion, I think they're I think they're op they're an option which some teams in the real world do too much of. And I feel bad for the teams that get, lose their players because you're just losing the lifeblood of your team. But anyway, let's go and see what I did. So then, Weigel, I don't know, if, I'm pretty sure it's a German way of pre pronouncing that last name, but I just call him Weigel, Julian Weigel. Uh, Moochin lines, I didn't do this transfer, it was just uh, part of the part of the save is already loaded in. So, real world, yeah, it's true, he was already a transfer target, I think a done deal. So then my first season, um, I was in big trouble. All I had was, uh, what's his name? Windenfeller, yeah. Roman Windenfeller. He was the goalkeeper. He's good. No, I won't, I won't take anything away from him. He's a great goalkeeper. But he was getting old. And I was feeling the pressure because uh, if he got injured, I'd be screwed because I don't have any other goalkeeper. So I decided to raid Stoke City. <laughs> I decided to raid Stoke. Yeah, I got their, I got their starting goalkeeper for $16 million. Um, Asimir Begovic, he's in Chelsea now. It's gonna suck. You won't, you won't get. You probably this is probably one of the best goalkeepers you could probably get. Uh, a first team goalkeeper you get in uh, FM 2015, in my opinion. Um, I, I like. I was looking around. You, I could not get anyone for a decent price uh, away from a from any other team in the in the German league or the uh, English league. So go for that. So a crisis hit uh, in January, as you can see on the out, uh, Marco Royce left for 52 million to Real Madrid, and I felt screwed. Um, he wanted to leave. I wanted to keep him. He wanted to leave, so let him go. I know, I know. In the real world, Royce did not leave, which pissed me off because he's a great player. I wonder if I could access his history. No, I can't. This is the best of the history I could get. So yeah. He scored, I think he scored like 14 goals right before he left. I don't remember. Something like that. And yeah, he, he's a pretty good Dortmund player. He he was he was solid, it's just he got injured a lot. And that pissed me off. So I brought in Memphis Depay. Or he calls himself Memphis. So I'll call him Memphis. And I did change the name for him because out of uh, respect. From PSV, 44.5 million. That was before the Man United thing. So thank God I... This sucks. Is the next year, next year you have to play Manchester United if you want to, uh, if you want to use Memphis in Football Manager, which really pissed me off. But you know what? For the good of his career, he probably should leave PSV. I don't know. He's, he's kind of young, so maybe it wasn't exactly the best idea. But I think for career-wise, it's probably a good, decent choice to go to Manchester United. Um, yeah. As you can see. He's still here in Dortmund, kicking ass. Um, he's been scoring a lot of goals. Of course, it's because he's playing. He's surrounded by world-class players. I think the first two seasons, um, maybe the first three seasons, there wasn't too much cheating. But uh, everything after that, yeah, I guarantee you the, the editor helped out a lot with the people surrounding him. I did not touch him with the editor. His stats are all relatively... Solid, although they've been collapsing since he's since he was 30. So, solid player in my opinion. Um, unfortunately, he won't be in the real. He won't be in the next game unless you play Manchester United. So I let Sabatic leave. Solid player, but wanted to leave. He said, "I want to go to Real Madrid, Mark." And I was like, "Fine, I'll let you go." Um, who else is there? All right, so next 2015-16 season, I, this is when I start the rebuilding process. This is, I know, this is insane. The transfers I called in. Um, I mean, it's insanity. If you really want to know, it, it is insanity. No one transfers this many players unless you're Manchester City. But you know what? Manchester City doesn't invest in real potential. They invest in real good players. But hopefully, they win the cha uh, not Champions League. Hopefully, they win the Premier League or. Uh, they're going to take a lot of pain. They're going to take a lot of hate for uh, failing again. But 
So I called in youngsters, Daniel Schultz. I sold him off later. He wasn't really all that great. He's too niche, too much of a niche player. Trained him for, what, five seasons? Loaned him out two seasons, let him go. Too much of a niche player. Average physicals, decent mentals, but you can't, you won't survive if you just have dribbling, first touch, and crap, decent passing. Not crap passing, but decent passing and technique. You're not going to survive in the league, so I let him go. Mats Muller Dali, I think that's pronounced his last name. Real good player, in my opinion. Solid player, just not world class. Um, he played well for three seasons. He was, he was wrecking house. Um, playing as our center, center attack and midfielder. It, one of the key stats I think he is probably best at is his first touch and technicals, his passing, his vision, his flair, his composure. Physically, he's pretty average, maybe even leaning towards below average. Um, good player. Sold him for uh, boatloads of money to, to Man City. What do you know? Man City, right? Am I right? They're buying great talent, then they just ship them off after they're done with them. Um, yeah, what do you do? What are you gonna do? Uh, uh, Edir uh, Alvarez Balanta from River, 16 mil. Supposedly, according to Footy Manager TV and other uh, seasoned players, he is the he is the god of football manager. <laughs> I mean, this I call him a god because he's well respected by a lot of players. So I take it that he has reason to be respected. And yeah, he's a solid player. 20 marking, although his physicals have dropped off since he's 32. He's playing for PSG. I got him for 16 mil. Sold him off for 45 mil to PSG. Um, Wellington Nam. I did change the stats eventually after the first two or three seasons. I think the first three seasons he was what, doing pretty good, and then he just dropped off. So I upped his stats. Big. I, I dumped out big money for him. And I sold him off for a loss later, but I think it was worth it because he was a solid, solid player. Mark Oliver Kempf. This is when I was working on uh, rebuilding my center uh, center back line because it was just wrecked from transfers that I did. But whatever, what can you do? Yeah, so I sold him off to Real Madrid for 58 million after five seasons. Yeah, solid player. It's just too slow for my uh, for my liking. And then Onoy, uh, I'm guessing it's Onoy, Onoy Nadel Chiru. Another one of the slow types, physical types. Trained him for a while, played a couple games, sold him off. Not really all that great. Wetter, Matthias Wetter. He was another niche player, only good at finishing. Is pretty crap. Besides that, physical's decent. So yeah, 1.7 million. I don't remember how much. I, oh, 8.5. Yeah, sold him off. Thor gonna hazard. I think he's kind of overrated. Um, hopefully he gets better ratings next year because he was, he wasn't all that great. I mean he did well because he was surrounded by good players and the good philosophy. 4.8 mil sold him off to Arsenal for 30 mil U.S. dollars. He scored. He scored a lot um, for a center attack and midfielder. Solid player in my opinion, it's just maybe a little bit overrated because for some reason his stats kind of suck in Football Manager, even though he seems to be well rated in the real world. Uh, and then I got this guy, G Gerald Maas, three mil from Freiburg. He was a monster. He was he was like another kind of like this Jovic types impact player. He can't do anything really all that great until like he's fully developed, and you need first team football for that. I wasn't willing to give him first first team football, so I sold him off to Stuttgart for fifteen. 0.75 million, look what you know, Bayern snapped him up for 62 million, so what can you say, right? Very good physically, very good finishing, Dece, uh, probably a little bit above average mentals, good player in my opinion, just, just I just did not have the time and energy to uh, to build him up. And yeah, Luka Jovic, good investment, Baines, Jackers, really great. Alright, let's see. I sold off Mkhitaryan. So he was a real good player, but it just was not good enough. He got replaced by Dali and Hazard. Azad. Um, Socrates Papasantopoulos, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, sold him to Inter for 18. Just wasn't good enough. He was falling off eventually. Um, Gundogan, I also sold him off because he reached his... He was probably around his peak when I sold him off. Uh, 
not in his 30s, but like reaching his peak in growth. So I let him go for 25 million to invest in other players, such as all these guys, as you can see. But besides that, I think that's about it. Gross Kratz, I let go. Blas Tchaikovsky, I let go. Obama Yang, I let go for big money. 21 million. But yeah, I let go of a lot of guys. Schmelzer, I also let go. Pissed off a lot of people in the team. So next year, none of the rebuilding process. Insane amount of transfers. Although these two from Barcelona ignore that. I was just uh, misclick on the editor. Hummels, I loaned out. No, I took in as a loan. I sold him for 56 million, yeah. Campbell also sold him for 20 million to Real Madrid. He wanted to leave, so I let him go. Hoffman didn't play him. Let him go. Look what I got. I, I took in Kaka. Except I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Chocolandelis? He's a Georgian. Always look out for those Georgians, those scary guys. They really... This, this guy was completely off the wall, bizarre transfer in my opinion. I've never seen, I've never heard in Football Manager that Georgians were great. Well, he was great until I let him go. <laughs> so I trained him for, what, three years, four years, almost four years. Um, I loaned him out a year to Zenit for, for 11K. Um, yeah, so he, he, he played a lot. Um, Six goals, two assists. He was more of an impact player. He could not play against those top tier teams because of his determination. I would always, not always, but sometimes I'd go off, go down a goal, and this guy's prime performance would collapse because he only has nine determination. So the prime reason I let him go is determination. He was great, solid player, technically decent, physically, uh, mentally, because of his determination. I let him go. It's just, it's just too much of a hindrance. But as you can see, he's been very successful. 1.2 million, sold him off for 8.5. Wanted more, but uh, Leo, uh, Marseille would not pay anymore, so let him go. Most of the, oh, Alessio Rossi from Torino, 8 million, maybe not worth it. <laughs> sold him off for 8.5 million. Um, solid player, just not not my type of player, I guess. Just set dribbling wise, just horrible. Uh, Leverkusen did all right. It's not really all that stand out. Um, so yeah, he wasn't world class. Unfortunately, Giuseppe Di Michele went over that in the last video. Solid player, but in the end, I let him go. Didn't have enough time to develop him. One of my best regens by far is Dennis Mokanu. Um, one of my favorite transfers of all time, probably, uh, for Dortmund. <laughs> one of the best uh, passers, tacklers, and uh, best technique of all the wingbacks I've ever seen. Determination, 18, solid player, leadership. He has like everything a fullback you'd want. Everything you would want from a fullback. He has it. Um, Romanian, surprisingly, they do have talent, no doubt about it. But besides that, uh, I might just uh, let it go here and I'll discuss the transfers in another video. Um, there's going to be a continuation. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed uh, or learned something, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to YouTube channel if you're new. Two links below, Facebook and Twitter. Check that out. You always get updates. Uh, thanks for watching. Love you all, and I'll see you all next time.